Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Hope you're all doing great. Hope you're having a good weekend so far, and uh, and welcome to um, to an update slash a, just ju ju just a video on uh, on liquidity or uh, LQTY. That's the uh, th that's the name of the token. Wanted to do a full update. I think for obvious reasons, uh, liquidity has been one of the most bullish cryptos in a while now. Um, basically, it actually started the rally at around the 12th of September. That's also when quite a lot of bullish momentum for, for Bitcoin started. So um, there's obviously a little bit of manipulation going on with liquidity. Um, but but um, w which actually started later, but f since the 12th of September, it's up about 118%, which is a lot. But that does mean that there is more potential for growth. All right. Um, so that's what we'll talk about right now. Liquidity is obviously very, very bullish. That's probably also why you're watching this video. You saw that it was up 10%, uh, even higher if you checked out earlier. So that's why you're here. So we'll talk about that. Um, so let's get right into it. All right. So what we're seeing right now with liquidity. And I need to quickly check this. It's pretty interesting. Uh, but what we're like, liquidity has been bullish for a while now. So it got some bearish momentum right here. Like it, it retraced quite a bit. Um, but it never really became bearish from this. Because what happened is that it broke down below 1.4, which was the major support level. But then it needed to like, like retest that. And it didn't. It just instantly broke above it again, which was bullish confirmation. And that's why it's rallying now again, apart from manipulation. Um, so what's actually interesting is that when we're taking a look at the open interest and the volume of liquidity, which basically indicates momentum, you can actually see that the open interest and the volume compared to the top, which was on Tuesday last week, um, is actually lower, which is interesting. All right. That's, that's interesting because, I mean, obviously, when the volume is low like this, it's easier to manipulate the price. That's just the truth. It's the vo if, if the volume is low, you need less money to actually influence the price and affect the price. So that's interesting. But it's also like usually if the price makes a new uh, higher high, which I, I mean, it has already done that, but I even expect it to go higher than this. Um, usually if it does that, the open interest actually increases. And you can see that the open interest and the volume are increasing right now. It's just relatively to the top. It's a bit lower and I'm a bit blurry. But now when we're taking a look at the price, it has found this resistance at 1.6. Like I said, it is manipulated. So it could technically just stop rallying at any moment. But at this moment, since the open interest and the volume are still increasing, the most likely scenario is that it will get up to this level right here between technically 1.65 and 1.75 um, dollars. And then from there, we'll see again. All right, because what I expect is that it will get up there and it will find resistance. If from that resistance, it's able to hold 1.65 and 1.6 as a support, then it's also possible that it will rally even higher towards $2. All right, so this looks like the most likely scenario right now, but I do want to stress that you should keep an eye on that open interest and the volume. Be, because because of the manipulation of liquidity, and some of you will, will probably challenge me on that it's manipulated. I understand um, because liquidity is also a great project, all right? And I fully agree with that. Um, but if you take a look at where the volume is coming from, and then also, which is most important, also take a look at these moves, a lot of spikes, you can see here as well, that's not normal price behavior, all right? It just, it just isn't. Um, so a lot of you will challenge me on that, but um, I mean, it, it doesn't matter whether it's manipulated or not, all right? It, it remains a great project, that is the truth. For now, this looks like the most likely scenario, but because of the fact that it's a bit shady, if the open interest starts falling, so keep an eye on that, then and, and liquidity drops down below 1.5, for example, then it's probably over. Not the most likely scenario, but a scenario. So that's my take on liquidity. Um, lastly, I do want to say that I have my own premium trading group slash signal group as well, in which I share my own trades as signals. If that sounds interesting, consider joining. Links will be down in the description or in the pinned comments. For now, enjoy your weekend. Take care and bye.